Did you know that these are no longer the fastest 0 to 60 cars in the world? Now these are. And you will be surprised to know who makes them and who drives them. Oh, and did you also know that 0 to 60 times are not really 0 to 60? Well, much like with our politics, with our comedy, and even with social media, uh, things have changed. And uh, so did the fast cars. I will tell you about the new kids on the block with the fastest toys, but first, let me clear something up. We are only going to be talking about production cars without any aftermarket mods, because, well, let's face it, with those, you can achieve pretty much anything nowadays. For example, I am sure that with some aftermarket mods, I can look like a mildly attractive Asian woman. Now, before we even get to the cars that are fastest 0 to 60, I'm gonna blow your mind and let you know that it's really not 0 to 60. It's actually around 5 or 6 miles an hour to 60. That's why the times look so impressive and I know you're probably wondering, Alex, what the hell are you talking about? Zero is zero. Uh, not to the car industry or in the words of the modern time philosopher. It depends upon what the meaning of the word is. Yes. Right. Now, you have been lied to by the car industry all this time about this as well. So, as the industry standard, when a 0 to 60 time is measured, each car is given a rolling start, which can shave off up to 3 tenths of a second of the actual time, which doesn't essentially get started until the car reaches several miles an hour. If you all agreed to cheat in the same way, why cheat? at all. This actually comes from the system used in drag racing, where a car can move about a foot off the line before tripping the timing light. Now, one of the very few brands that have been somewhat honest about it is Tesla, believe it or not. They did put an asterisk next to their 0 to 60 time, and it indeed does say with rollout subtracted. So Tesla is being honest about being this honest. With that said, uh, let's dive in into the brands that have been on the top of the 0 to 60 food chain for years until recently, with all of them being gas cars. And we are going to start with, of course, the Porsche 911 Turbo S Lightweight at around a quarter of million dollars. Now, before we get to the rest of them, a quick reminder that this video is brought to you by Electron. Look, one of the biggest challenges with owning an EV is finding convenient and reliable ways of charging it. And it's no secret that most EV drivers like to charge at home. That's why Electron built the powerful V-Box in home charging station. It provides up to 48 amps of power for your J1772 EV. It adds up to 46 miles of range per hour and fully charges your EV in under six hours. Simply plug in your car at night and wake up to a full charge in the morning. Get one today using the discount code in the description of this video. All right, on to the gas-powered beasts and we continue with the Bugatti Chiron Super Sport at slightly higher price tag of almost four million dollars. Next is the Nissan GTR Nismo at a bargain price of slightly above two hundred thousand dollars followed by the lamborghini huracan evo at around three hundred and fifty thousand dollars and finally the bmw m8 competition really almost free if you think about it at just around one hundred and fifty thousand dollars now all these fast cars are the fastest gas cars that we have and you know they had a good run but i don't know if you guys can guess by the title of this video the bunch of even faster cars that we now have on the market are all electric. Now, I will explain why the electric motors are that much better and faster than the gasoline engines in just a second, while, by the way, killing way less birds in the trees, but uh, let's parade them around first. Now, I do have to put my own asterisk here. Um there, because this one is not really a gas car, but not really a fully electric one either. This is the Ferrari SF90 Stradale Assetto Fioraro, which I can only assume means uh, the car with uh, too many names. 
in Italian. And it is a plug-in hybrid, and it already beats the previous bunch, launching 0 to 60 in just around 2 seconds at just a little over half a mil. Now, let's take a look at its fully electric brothers and sisters, because, let's face it, we did not think that these cars would be kicking ass on a drag strip when it all started kind of like this, when most people didn't think that they would make it to a grocery store. Oh, and by the way, two out of the four fastest cars in the world that are all electric are four-door sedans. That's insane. I mean, think about it. Hmm. You can beat that bro in a Lambo off the light and still drive your kids to school in the same trip. And we're starting with the slowest of the four, which, by the way, are all under two seconds, and it is a sedan, the Tesla Model S Plaid. Zero to 60 at 1.99 seconds, and yet the most expensive version is under $140,000. The even faster one comes from a brand you probably never heard of, which is Remots, and it's Remots Nivera with 0 to 60 in 1.9 seconds. This one is not cheap at a hefty $2.2 million. Remots, named after its founder, Mate Remots, is a Croatian company that is owned in part by Porsche, Hyundai, and Kia. It has also recently merged with Bugatti, which has the same parent company as Porsche, which is the Volkswagen Group. I guess those Bugattis will soon get even faster and probably quieter. Beating the Remats Nevera by 0.01 seconds is another new brand, Lucid Motors, with its Lucid Air Sapphire getting to 60 miles an hour in 1.89 seconds, with a relatively modest price tag of a quarter mil. Lucid's CEO Peter Rollison was Tesla's VP of Engineering back in the day, and he is widely credited for saving Tesla by engineering the Model S into production. And the fastest production car in the world is also a newbie and an all-electric brand you probably never heard of, the Pininfarina Bautista. And it is priced at $2.2 million, and I'm assuming very well worth it. Automobili Paninfarina is a brand spun off of the industry's top design brand under the same name. I'll pronounce it again. Automobili Paninfarina. That's right. But what is it that makes all of these electric cars so much faster? Well, it's actually pretty simple. Gas engines need a transmission to move the car, which creates a lag, in addition to having to light up the gasoline injections, where the electric motors can deliver instantaneous torque directly to the wheels, in some cases having the motors built right in to the wheels. Let me know in the comment section which one of these beasts is your favorite, and if you want to know more about what features do electric cars have, that gas cars may not, well then check out this video where I compare them in what's under the hood. I put a link to that video in the description of this one, or if you're watching me on YouTube, then you can just click right over there. All right, looking forward to all of your comments. Other than that, see you guys next time, and remember to stay charged.